And we have uh, so much research showing biological effects, brain tumors, altered brain development, damaged sperm, immune dysfunction, oxidative stress, ADHD, altered sleep, memory, DNA breaks, uh, and recommendations to to change these limits to be more protective of children because those effects have been found at such low levels. In fact, there was a recent uh, study by environmental working group scientists recommending limits be hundreds of times lower than what they are. And this is imaging uh, from Environmental Health Trust advisors, engineers from Brazil who publish and model the intensity of wireless radiation absorbed into the body. Here is an example from a laptop on the lap. These are two images. One shows the way the waves are propagated in the air. And then this one shows the way the uh, wireless radiation is absorbed into the body tissues. The colors represent the intensities into the body, starting with the lighter colors being the most intense level, going from white, yellow, orange, uh, red, purple, blue. I am an electrical engineer professor, and this is a simulation using a microwave industry standard software used to assess exposure to wireless devices such as cell phones, tablets, and in this case, a wireless laptop at 2.45 gigahertz when the Wi-Fi of the laptop is on and the laptop is on your lap. Uh, this imaging show how the field penetrates the body. The colors represent the intensity of the field from white to yellow, orange, red, purple, and black. Now this is a simulation of the Wi-Fi electrical field in a six years old child facing a tablet. We have the tablet at 150 millimeters from the head, which is at least a little less than six inches. We can also take a closer look at the Wi-Fi field in the brain by using different scales. We use anatomically based models of people. This means that we simulate the absorption of different parts in the body, such as the skull, regions of the brain, the bones, eyes, and dozens of other tissues. These animations are slowly slowed down by about 5 billion times. Most people are not aware that the waves of the Wi-Fi electrical fields oscillated 2 billion times a second through our bodies. Wireless devices emit microwaves and these images show the intensity of the fields absorbed into the human body. Uh, this is an example of a study done by um, our scientific advisors from Turkey, which is on the FCC record, which was highlighted uh, in our filings to the court. And we think are really an important area that hasn't been fully addressed, really addressed by our federal government at all. And that's the research showing damage to the brain. This is research showing how pregnant rats exposed to 60 minutes a day to wireless radiation for just one month had changes in the hippocampus of their brain. And when the, um, the baby rats' brains were looked at after they were born, they looked at the hippocampus and found damage to brain cells. And Dr. Suleiman Kaplan did an FCC filing, which is on record. And all you have to do is type in Suleiman Kaplan FCC, and you can see his filing to the FCC. All of this was ignored by the Federal Communications Commission. 